Greetings, fellow tree huggers, and welcome back to Stuff and Things. We know all of you out there are doing your part to make Earth a little bit better, or at least not make it worse. But that can be hard uh, when we're so dependent on things to make Earth worse, like oil. Whether you're taking the bus to work or driving yourself, you're using gasoline to fuel your car. Unless it's a Tesla. But we're only using gas because it's the cheapest easiest way to carry and expend the energy needed to power an engine. And gas is great because of all the complex hydrocarbons. But that makes CO2 when it burns, which is kind of messing things up for us. So if we get rid of the carbon and just burn hydrogen, we solve that problem. Using the most abundant gas in existence is pretty simple. Uh, fuel cells have been around for a while, but the production of it has always been the bottleneck. Well, not anymore, as scientists over at Buffalo University have made very, very small silicon particles that can produce hydrogen incredibly quickly from just plain old water. The particles themselves are only 10 nanometers in diameter, and the process is pretty simple. You dump the particles into some water, and they react and make silicic acid and hydrogen. The acid is non-toxic, and nothing else is required to produce the reaction. Win-win! The creators are mainly looking at the possibility of this being used as a portable power source, where you have an abundance of water. But what about mass production? What about replacing our need with oil with simple hydrogen? It might be a tough, near impossible sell to the governments, but technology already exists for us to use this in place of our current tech. The power requirements are quite steep to make the particles, but with nuclear and renewable sources available, this could be worth looking at. In any sort of environment, an over-dependence on a single resource is disastrous. We need new options and new ways of doing things, or this is pretty much it. We try to be upbeat on this show as much as we can, so we like to think that this, and us, and everybody in the world can turn things around. So guys, what we'd like to know from you is pretty simple. Do you think we could actually, in the near future, replace oil with something? Is it even feasible? Would anybody be behind it? Would any government be willing to take that extra step? Let us know in the comments down below. And if you liked what you've seen today, don't forget to click that like and subscribe button. And we will see you next week. Well, not anymore. As scientists over at Buffalo University have made a very... Oh, <laughs> <laughs> oh my voice it just died. Oh my God, <laughs> Hasn't happened in a while. <laughs>